Así que aquí comenzamos, vamos a, vamos a escuchar la entrevista con Scott Malwoski, es el Product Manager de la Lincoln MKC 2015 y la prueba de manejo que hicimos aquí en eh, California, en Santa Bárbara. Well, Scott, uh, thank you very much for having us here in uh, California, driving the new, th new 2015 M Lincoln MKC. Uh, completely new in many aspects, right? Yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of new aspects in, from a technology feature standpoint. Um, if you want, I can start from the outside and kind of work in. Yeah. Um, the first unique piece is uh, customer um, detection. And what we mean by that is your Lincoln MKC essentially It's not a big you. brother thing. <laughs> no, no, it's not a big brother thing. And actually, when you have your keys just on you in your pocket, let's say you went out to dinner, and as you're walking up and moving up in the vehicle, once you get within about eight feet um, at nighttime, the vehicle then essentially comes to life and, and greets you with a, an illuminated welcome mat on the ground with the Lincoln logo yeah. in front of both doors. It lights up the door handles and all the exterior lights and turns on the interior lights so when you get inside it's just a, a great warm feeling getting inside the vehicle. Uh, a, a long way from the old keys that you have to put into a yeah, little absolutely. log and everything. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's a, a, literally just in your pocket or your you purse. You don't have to have it in your hand, right? No, anything. you walk up and you put your door in, your hand right in the door, it opens up, you drop right in and then obviously push button start and away you go and never even have to take the keys out of your pocket. And the other uh, feature, I was going to key feature of the key <laughs> is when uh, the, the rear gate, right? That you can do it with the, the key, the sideways key. Yes, yes. If you have your hand hands full, right, and you have the keys on, you just do a simple wave of your foot under the rear bumper and the hatch just comes up automatically. Yeah. So, uh, but also there are new uh, details in uh, terms of design from the outside. Yeah, from the outside, there's a lot of fantastic features um, from the outside. One is the signature wraparound headlamps, or tail lamps, I should say. And uh, the unique part about that, to actually get a tailgate to wrap and draw that deep, conventional metal to metal stamping really can't draw that tailgate so we spent a lot of time and it actually mm -hmm. used water hydroforming to form that tailgate the oh, other piece you'll see is a is a higher belt line to give it a sturdier stance and the vehicle has been lowered by about an inch and the track width of the Lincoln MKC is wider by almost an inch as well to help with the stability and uh, the overall ride performance. So this is built on a, a platform that used another former company products, but it's not exactly the same car, right? I mean, they no, actually... No, no, not at all. Because, exactly. Because we saw another, I think it's an escape, and it looks completely different. Very small, yeah. very narrow, there's, completely there, different. There's a lot of vehicles that can utilize a platform. Exactly. But one, one of the keys for us is we started with a set of very distinct targets and metrics. And to do that, it actually included widening the track and lowering the vehicle. So... Very, very unique in itself. No, and, and actually we witnessed that this morning. Very curious because I don't know if you planted the car there because it was right in front oh, of us. No. Completely, yeah. you could see the, the huge differences. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of differences there. One of the, the really unique features is even on the inside, right? It's, it's very quiet interior and it uses active noise cancellation through the speaker systems to attenuate objectionable noises. Yeah. And then once you get that interior quiet, one of the really unique features is the THX certified audio sound system, right? Where you got 14 speakers throughout the, the vehicle. And one of the nice things is to get a very deep um, bass noise. A lot of times the bass will be in a subwoofer in the back. Well, the Lincoln doors were specifically designed um, to, to, to distribute that. the bass sound oh, through right. the doors. And you'll notice it's a very rich, um, um, deep, just premium sound. It's fantastic. Yeah. Also, I noticed that uh, once I opened the window, lowered the window, it's double glass, uh, isolated, uh, laminated yeah, glass. Yeah, it's laminated glass. So laminated glass, you know, it has some benefits other than just the sound, but it's really what makes the difference in the sound and the wind noise. Yeah. And so there's a lot of those little details that people at first glance probably, probably miss, miss, but... Uh, I mean, there's, that's what makes it, this car different, right? Yeah, absolutely. And then, you know, moving on to kind of the, the, the powertrain piece of it, um, it's an all EcoBoost lineup, so it utilizes direct injection, twin independent variable cam timing, and turbocharging. And the base is a 2-liter. It gets 240 horsepower, 270 foot-pounds of torque. Um, and then when you, and it really delivers V6 performance with four-cylinder fuel efficiency. When I say that, it's best in class for highway fuel in the 2-liter, Um, better than the GLK 350, the RDX, um, the X3. It, it's just a, a fantastic package. And what's really unique, um, we designed the all-new 2.3 liter EcoBoost specifically for the luxury powertrain for this vehicle as a step-up powertrain. 
It delivers 285 horsepower and 305 foot-pounds of torque, which you probably noticed in the drive route. Oh, indeed. And it's it's, a, fun, it's a lot of fun to very drive. spirited. So that is an all-new engine. So yeah. when, when you're managing that kind of pressures and temperatures with that kind of horsepower per liter, um, it was critical. It's, it's ground up all new, new block, new steel crank, um, forged steel connecting rods with full floating pins and steel ring carriers. Just a lot of um, pieces in there. But the key to that one was introduction of a twin scroll turbocharger. Yeah. So we didn't give away any low end torque as we were really chasing um, power as well. So it's kind of like having your cake and eating it too. Yeah, exactly. We just drove it for about 80 miles here on the twisty roads here of, uh, of Southern California. And it's really, really amazing how, how it performs. Uh, the steering is very precise also. And uh, you, you, the car goes exactly where you want to go and then very good response. Uh, so good job on that. Uh, congratulations. Uh, so, and then like the other aspect of it is like a tons of new technology. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if, if you start even with just the, you mentioned the handling, right? So besides the vehicle, the vehicle being wider and lower in stance, um, it has electric power assist steering, which is part yeah. of what you're feeling. Um, it has stability control and, but the other piece is it has intelligent all wheel drive. So it, it's, it almost instantaneously controls the vehicle and distributes torque from the front wheels to the rear wheels it has torque vectoring so if you're getting hard into a corner it applies the brakes where required right to get the right road patch and it then distributes it left to right and then if you take that one step further it also has lincoln ride control which is primarily what we call ccd continuously controlled damping okay so it's got 46 sensors in the vehicle every two milliseconds it's checking the sensors every 20 milliseconds <laughs> It's adjusting the ride, and that's where you were experiencing. You can even have it in a, in a normal mode, a comfort mode, or a more aggressive sport mode where it will anticipate and downshift. Um, it's more responsive on the throttle, and again, you get that tight, connected feeling when you're in that um, sport mode, and then the damping of the vehicle is just, just perfect. Excellent. And uh, also, obviously, the um, infra infotainment system, uh, a lot of new things there. You have now a nap to control some functions of the car too? Yeah, to stay connected with your vehicle. It's um, my Lincoln Mobile Touch app, right, that you can get through the application store. And there's some unique features there where you can remotely lock and unlock the vehicle. You can check its status as far as odometer reading as well as your fuel level. And a couple other neat features is when you locate your vehicle, you can save your vehicle's location and tag a picture to it. So if you were in an airport parking lot, came back, you know, two, three weeks later, and you're at Pillar C5, yeah, you can put me. it there. <laughs> yeah, and you can schedule um, remote start times in the morning, um, oh, in to addition to warm. set yeah. Yeah, a parking meter. Oh, I see. Okay. So if you've got three hours in your parking meter, you set your timer, and it'll contact you and say, hey, look, you got 30 minutes before the meter goes off, and you can make a decision, it's time to leave or time to put more time in the meter. Yeah. Uh, final thing about the interior, uh, a lot of uh, nice uh, materials, uh, wood, aluminum aluminum uh, and really nice materials here that's uh, something that uh, every manufacturer uh, had to do especially with the competition in this segment eh? yes absolutely to, to compete in this can this segment the expectation is is the best the right best the best fit the best finish and it needs to not only feel look and touch but it has to give you that overall premium feeling yeah so what are we talking about prices uh, for this uh, new mkc the new MKC starts um, roughly just under thirty-five thousand, and then works its way up to the the progression. So thirty-five with a two-liter engine. Yeah, probably the two-liter is base. Okay, well, thank you very much for for the information, and uh, we'll uh, we'll keep enjoying the, the car for for uh, the rest of the day here. All right, thank you. Thank you. Pues esa fue la entrevista que hicimos con Scott Makowski, el eh, gerente de producto de la nueva Lincoln MKC 2015, el vehículo que como decíamos ya está saliendo a la venta. Empieza alrededor de los 35 mil dólares y sube hasta los 49 mil, casi 50 mil dólares. El modelo que probamos aquí en California, en Santa Bárbara, con el motor 2.5 litros EcoBoost, que produce 285 caballos de fuerza. Y una vez que se le incorporan todas las opciones posibles, como escuchábamos ahí con Scott, eh, muchos equipos de lujo, mucha tecnología, el precio sube hasta los 50 mil dólares. Y bueno, entrará a competir en un segmento muy, muy uh, aguerrido, donde hay muchos modelos muy buenos eh, que pueden ir desde la nueva versión de la SUV compacta de Lexus hasta la A5, no, la Q5, perdón, de Audi y muchos otros, hasta quizá en el extremo más alto de la ecuación, la Porsche Macan, la SUV compacta deportiva de lujo del fabricante alemán.
Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting. Thank you.